Hi, my name is Jordan Hoffman and today I'm going to be talking about the Class 900 South Australian Rails loco that just got released from STS Models. A lot of the lot of runs are coming due now, so it's a really exciting time. I've actually had this one now running on a little test track at Hobby Man. It was beautiful. Um, these are retailing for just not terribly much actually. Cool 335. And that's for a DC model and a bit more expensive for the air sound variation. This is the number 901. The 900s are running out really, really fast. So if you want the named loco, you better get in while you can because they are proven to be very, very popular. This one here is obviously in the red, red oxide with the silver trim at the bottom here. It is quite a beautiful little model. It runs really, really smooth and very slow as well. So it barely made a noise when I had it on our test track. It was actually quite nice, it was very refreshing. Some, some of the Australian locos you get, they're a bit noisy sometimes. This, it was barely, barely perceptible. Runs, obviously has the normal KDs on it. And it also has a great little bit of detail on the fans up the top here, which is nice. And obviously the horns at the top here as well. They've been packed really nicely by SDS and Steve. So that um, hasn't been damaged in transit. And we've even got the wipers on the windows. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's really, really nice looking. Almost like a B-class front, isn't it? But anyway. Obviously, you can put a 21-pin decoder in it if you so choose. There are sound variations available for a lot of these models. Like I said, the 900, though, they're very few and far between. So if you haven't got one already, grab it now from wherever you can get it. Otherwise, you may have to choose a 901 or another running number, essentially. There are about... Five, about six different variations in this range, maybe seven. And we're really proud to stock them here. I've got a few here and a, a few at Hobby Man and a few at Hearns. So yeah, get in while they're hot. Um, I will be restocking over time, obviously, but they are proving to be a popular unit. Yeah. Even the front here, I don't know if you can see that, but the grill there, we've got the nice little um, decal on the front there for the... Uh, I think that will be a that will be the symbol of South Australia. I, su I suspect probably a wing, a swan of some kind. Forgive my ignorance. Yeah, and also you've got the grills at the back here. Just trying to show it off. There we go. See that a little bit better. So there's grills all across the back there. A great little addition in the detail, and on the other side as well. I'm really really excited to have to have so much of this from mum Steve. He's done a really great job of getting these models out. And there's gonna be even more coming from here in the next year or so. A lot of models are gonna be coming out. So keep an eye for the art, especially the K-Class. That is also, gonna, we're gonna be reviewing that as, but, um, as well. But I had this one out, ran really smooth and slow. Diesels tend to because you can hide the mechanism and not make it too complicated. Um, but yeah, really proud to stock it. Thanks you. <laughs>